Hello, welcome to Tonio's house. We're back here at Dom's Tank. It's been a while since we did some uploading, so uh, we just wanted to give you some updates. Feeding the fish now. Um, we took out a lot of rocks here, so this is a, an episode to show you how to bleach some of the uh, decorative coral. And that's some of the dry stuff. It seeds and then it starts to sprout all kinds of things, but ma mainly algae grows and it gets dark and unsightly, so we left some of the live rock in there, give them some shelter, a few fittings, and uh, I just did a water change, so they've been through some trauma. Now, a little while later, we are going ahead and give them some food, and this is just uh, mysis and brine. It's pretty good stuff. It's that uh, PE mysis. PE mysis in that was a Can Canadian freshwater. Yeah. It's nice and. There's some small pieces and there's some nice chunky pieces. And the bigger fish, the trigger and the uh, French angel, they love to chomp on some meaty, meaty shrimp. So there's some nice pieces for them. They like to see nice uh, big pieces, but they're small enough for even the little guys to enjoy. And uh, uh, even the uh, platinums will get a little, little munch on some of the smaller pieces as well. But, uh, Usually they're all kind of hidden, but today they're all out. There's not a whole lot of... They're going to have to readjust to the new setup for a little while. So uh, while we have you, I'm going to show you our little system for leaching the corals. Let's get a little bit of food for our, for our fire piece. And so this is, the, this is the quarantine tank that has become the breeding tank. And... Uh, we have the lights off in here. Uh, we're for some reason getting some electricity in there, so we shut everything off. But uh, if you can see, there's another batch, and he's pretty protected with these. But another batch of uh, baby brines in there. Baby brines, I mean baby uh, Clarkies in there. So, looking good. Backing up. And let's put a little bit of krill for the puffer. Uh, puffers love this stuff. Jumbo crop. But they kind of got to eat it quickly so that it just, uh, they don't like it when it gets soggy. So here you go, buddy. Here you go. Here you go. Try this out. Try this out. Here. Here, here. Got it. Yeah, right here. Okay. Alright. It does this. It does this. It does this. Hey, you. Puffer doesn't have great eyesight. Okay. Now I'll probably see it. Here we go. There you go. There you go. No, he doesn't see it. Come on. Come on. No. No. And Clarky's not gonna like you over there. You know the clerk you don't like you over there. You know the clerk you don't like you over there. Here. Okay, you want it? You don't want it? Okay. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> Poor guy. They don't have great eyesight. You know, he, he, he will never refuse some food, but he's always... These guys are big eaters. Okay, let's watch them chomp on that. Probably the most rewarding part of the hobby is watching them munch down. Mm -hmm. So if you'll follow me this way, let's take you over to the uh, mm -hmm. To the uh, setup we have for the bleaching station. It's going to get dark here in a minute. I'll turn the light off. Okay, so uh, what we have is all the decorative coral that was in the tank in there, mostly blue, the red, uh, uh, 
some uh, Elkhorn, you know, piece of, uh, uh, you know, all, uh, uh, barnacle. So this power head is mo moving things around, moving the water around a little bit. And uh, we're going to soak this in the bleach for a couple of days. Looks like the water has come down a little bit. There we go. The water's already come down a little bit. But uh, there we go. So we'll we'll soak this in here for a couple of days, and then we'll uh, change directions, drain it, and uh, um, and then soak it for what a uh, couple of days in bleach. We'll drain, we'll drain it, it fresh, water. fresh water. Then we'll uh, soak it for about a I don't know. We'll give it three, four days in fresh water, and then um, oh, the, uh, ultimately. Water. Ultimately, when they're all nice and clean, we'll um, uh, take them out, let them air dry once we've soaked them in fresh water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, you're going. Okay. So, good. So, we get the water going. You can already tell I, I, I've got two capfuls of bleach, real small amounts of bleach in there, and you can already tell that the uh, a lot of it has gotten whiter, but this will get nice and clean after it soaks for a little while. It'll be, you know, the colors will come back. It'll be just, a, you know, a real nice decorative uh, corals right on that. And, the, and if you do it the right way, let it dry, uh, let it soak in plenty of fresh water, uh, it's not going to hurt the fish. Uh, and it'll start seeding all over again, and then it'll become live after it's, after right now we're, we're basically killing the seeded rock. Uh, all rock becomes live rock eventually. And, uh... Well, let's take you out to where the, um, uh, so we, we had some live rock that uh, was a bit much. We're going to take you out to the, we call the Fish, Fish Cemetery. Yeah. All right. Water quality is good. Just decide to move on from this earth. And underneath these rocks is where they are buried. Well, the ones that the smart birds haven't figured out where they live. But um, so we're gonna. These are live rock that just came out of the tank today. And eventually, what will happen is these will all bleach themselves back up. You know, the, the sun will hit them. Uh, the water will hit them. We'll turn them. And we didn't have a whole lot of space left, so we left them over here. They're gonna, we'll bleach these naturally. And so, uh, you know, a couple of days you'll see the algae, they'll be clean again. Then we'll, we'll do the same thing to them, we'll bleach them again, and they'll look good. And that's it, so, uh, beautiful, beautiful evening. Thanks for watching. And uh, please comment, subscribe, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching. This is Tony O's house, Dom's Tank. Cut!